This is the Masterpiece Competition Field. There are 15 missions which can be done in any order. You do not have to complete all the missions. Just try as many as you can in each two and a half minute robot match. Only the score from your best match will be counted. Before each match, make sure your whole field has been reset correctly. Check with the team that they are okay with the setup of the field before they start of each match. Your robot must start completely inside a launch area and you should program it to return to either home area. You can handle and modify your robot between runs while it is in either home area. If the team's robot extends outside the launch area, gently remind them to put the robot behind the line before they launch. Also, the team technicians must not be holding anything from moving. In the case of a mislaunch, use your best judgment and be lenient when you can. Gracious professionalism is how we express our core values in First Lego League. The robot game is an important place to observe gracious professionalism, and the referees will evaluate this for each team at each official robot match. Your job includes being a friendly role model for the teams, calming their nerves and encouraging them, especially when the robot does not perform as expected. Through these interactions, you will be able to observe the team's behavior towards you, their teammates, and others. This will enable you to evaluate their gracious professionalism. Your robot and all your equipment must fit into both launch areas and under a height limit of 12 inches. If it is small enough to fit in just one launch area and under this height limit, during the inspection time before the match, make sure the robot has four or fewer motors, only one controller, and that all the equipment and the robot fit inside both or a single launch area. Team members may use their hands to balance all the equipment while the referee is checking if it fits under the imaginary 12-inch ceiling. The team's art piece counts as equipment and must be included in the inspection. The pedestal, audience members, and the museum curator start in home, but they are mission models. They are not a part of the equipment inspection. After the equipment inspection, but before the match, the team can distribute these models, as well as their robot and other equipment between the two home areas, however they would like. Mission one, 3D cinema. Trigger the 2D cinema screen to become a 3D experience. If the 3D Cinema's small red beam is completely past the black frame, this is an acceptable scoring position. Remember, the scoring requirement for this mission is that the 3D Cinema's small red beam is completely past the black frame, not that the small red beam has fallen. Mission 2. Theater Scene Change Change the scenery to a different configuration and consider what the other team will do so that you end with matching scenes. If your theater's red flag is down and the active scene color is blue, pink, orange, and if both teams active scene match, blue, pink, Orange. This is the guided mission. Teams will be provided with the program to complete the first part of the mission. This mission provides a good opportunity to watch Gracious Professionalism and how the two teams interact with each other. Remember that teams may not interact with the other team's model. It is possible that a team's flag is down, but their scene never changed. This is an acceptable scoring condition. To score the bonus, remember that the scenes must match and both flags must be down. Mission three, immersive experience. Trigger the immersive experience for the viewer in the model. If the three immersive experience screens are raised, Some missions state that to score, team equipment may not be touching that particular mission model at the end of each match. Remember that this condition only applies to the end of the match, not during. Mission four, masterpiece. 
You can use the bricks in bag four to build your team's Lego art piece. Bring it to the match and then deliver it on the pedestal to the museum. If your team's Lego art piece is at least partly in the museum target area. Bonus, and if the art piece is completely supported by the pedestal. Mission five, augmented reality statue. Rotate the statue to reveal an augmented reality experience. If the augmented reality statue's orange lever is completely rotated. Mission six, music concert lights and sounds. Set up the music concert by switching on the lights and sound. If the light's orange lever is completely rotated. If the speaker's orange lever is completely rotated. The speaker's orange lever will vary. Be lenient when evaluating whether the speaker's lever is completely rotated. When unsure, give the team the benefit of the doubt. Mission seven, hologram performer. Set the stage for the hologram performer to start the show. If the hologram performer's orange push activator is completely past the stage set line. When determining if the hologram performer's orange push activator is completely past the stage set line, remember to be lenient with the teams. When unsure, use the benefit of the doubt. Mission eight, rolling camera. Release the camera down the track to shoot the movie scene. If the rolling camera's white pointer is left of dark blue, but right of medium and light blue, or if the rolling camera's white pointer is left of dark and medium blue, but right of light blue, or if the rolling camera's white pointer is left of dark, medium, and light blue, In some instances, the rolling camera may obscure your view of the track color from above. When possible, referees should lean over the model to view the white pointer and the corresponding track color. Remember, if the white pointer is on a colored tile, the team earns points for the higher scoring area of the track. Mission nine, movie set. Act out the scene by pulling the boat model along. If the boat is touching the mat completely past the scene line, if the camera is touching the mat at least partly in the camera target area. Mission 10, sound mixer. Adjust the sound levels in the studio for ideal audio recording. If a sound mixer slider is raised. This model includes a convenient reset lever. Simply pull the lever completely outward to release the raised sliders. Then rotate the lever completely inward. The sound mixer is now reset. Mission 11, light show. Trigger the light show on the tower by raising the handles. If the light show's white pointer is within zone yellow, Blue. Green. It is possible that the white pointer rests on the line between two colored zones. When this happens, remember that the teams earn for the higher scoring zone of the two. This model includes a convenient reset lever. Simply pull the gray lever outward. Next, while applying pressure, push the light show bar downward. When the light show bar is completely lowered, release the gray lever. The light show is now reset. Mission 12, virtual reality artist. Trigger the model repeatedly to create an artistic sculpture. If the chicken is intact and has moved from its starting position. Bonus, and is over or completely past the lavender dot. there exists a slight gap between the chicken and the gray knob. This may make it difficult to differentiate between a reset position 
and a model that was actuated one time. In these instances, be lenient with the teams. When in doubt, use benefit of the doubt. Mission 13, Craft Creator. Release the creation from the craft machine. If the craft machine's orange and white lid is completely open, If the craft machine's light pink latch is pointing straight down, it is possible that the craft machine's light pink latch is not pointing straight down. This does not fulfill the scoring requirement for this mission. In this instance, the team would not score this part of the mission. Mission 14, Audience Delivery. Deliver the seven audience members to their target destinations. If an audience member is completely in a target destination, if a target destination has at least one audience member completely in it. Mission 15, Expert Delivery. Deliver the experts to their target destinations. If the following experts are at least partly in their target destination, Sam, the stage manager, in the movie set. Anna, the curator, in the museum. Noah, the sound engineer, in the music concert. Izzy, the skateboarder, in the skate park. Emily, the visual effects director in the cinema. Precision tokens. The less you interrupt your robot outside the home, the more points you will keep. If you interrupt your robot outside the home area, you will lose a precision token. Precision tokens left on the field will result in extra points. Referees should find a suitable place to put the precision tokens during the match. For example, you might place them on the wall of the table, but out of the way of a mission model. Do your best to make it visible to the team when they lose a precision token so they can keep track throughout the match. Remember that referees will be evaluating your gracious professionalism at each match. Remember to encourage the teams and make them feel at ease, especially during setup. This will give you a good opportunity to observe how they interact with each other and everyone else. Remember that pressure is on during the event, so some tears or disappointment is a normal reaction when things don't go well. Remind the team that they have three appearances at the robot game and only the highest score will count. Also, that the tournament itself is only one day in an amazing season working as a team. Every team starts with accomplished, gracious professionalism, three points. If a referee observes behavior that is above and beyond expectations, the team's gracious professionalism may be scores as exceeds, four points. Similarly, if a team's behavior shows that they are still evolving their gracious professionalism, they will receive a developing score, two points. It is left to the referee's discretion as to whether to fill gracious professionalism before or after the team's signature. Please be familiar with the core values and talk with other referees about gracious professionalism. Remember to read the Robot Game Rulebook and check for any updates during the season. Good luck!